How do you write a good twist? Hi, I'm Jed Hearn, and this is Daily Writing Advice. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card is a fantastic sci-fi novel with an amazing twist that really transforms the way that you see the text on the second reading. I'm going to be spoiling it in this episode of Daily Writing Advice, so if you haven't read Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card, and you don't want me to spoil it for you, go away and read that and then come back to this episode. It is a fantastic novel. It was written in the 80s, I think, but it still holds up to this day and it is still a superb. It is still a great sci-fi novel. Okay, so I'm going to assume if you're still watching, you don't care about me spoiling it. So the big twist in Ender's Game is that it follows this young boy in this futuristic battle school who is preparing to fight an alien invasion. And the way that they're preparing him to fight this invasion is to basically have him play a video game, a simulation of this combat. And the big twist is that at the end of the book, you realize it wasn't a simulation. He was actually fighting the aliens all along, even though he thought he was just playing what was basically a video game. So what you find out is that the main character has essentially committed genocide and has wiped out this entire alien race when he thought he was just practicing by playing a game. That's a massive twist and it completely changes the way that you see the book. But what makes the twist particularly compelling, and I don't have time to go into all of the specifics that make this twist really good, but I did do a podcast episode on Ender's Game about writing twists, which I will link to below. But one thing that makes this twist particularly good and is an easy thing for you to do in your own stories is to set up a big twist with a micro twist. So what's a micro twist? The way I like to think about it is it's your story in miniature. So if your big twist in your story is that a character isn't real, then think about ways you can have a micro twist earlier to suggest that this is a possibility within your world. So in Ender's game, the big twist is that Ender secretly killed, without his knowledge at least, everyone else kind of knew about it, Ender killed an alien race. He wiped out billions of lives. That's the big twist. The way that Orson Scott Card sets that up, the way he establishes this possibility within his world, is through earlier in the novel when Ender gets into a fight with this other cadet. And Ender pushes this guy over and he like cracks his head on the ground and Ender thinks that he's just concussed and he's told later that he's just in hospital just recovering from like the head wound. But in reality, Ender actually killed this guy. And Ender walked away from that thinking that the guy was obviously badly hurt but he survived. And Ender was like, okay, well, at least I didn't kill him. And then everyone else in the story knows that Ender did in fact kill him, but they keep it secret from him because they don't want to mess up his mood before these big combats. So what we've done here is that Orson Scott Card has foreshadowed this idea that, hey, maybe the main character is actually doing things that have ramifications that he's not fully aware of. So then when we get to that twist at the end, it just feels believable because we've been subconsciously programmed to expect that this is something that can happen in the world. So in your own stories, think about this. If you have a big twist at the end and you're a little unsure of if it will be too surprising, think about how you can set it up earlier in the novel by not actually having the same event, but just having a similar thing that thematically demonstrates that this is the kind of story where these kind of twists will happen. And that's our episode. I've been Jed Hearn and this has been Daily Writing Advice. Thank you so much for being part of this episode. Now go and write extraordinary stories.